Micropayments are an exciting new sort of development in how we pay for the web. The idea of micropayments is not new at all, actually. The idea of micropayments goes back way to the early days of the internet where people were thinking about how do we incentivize people to put content online. The model that we've tried out for the past few decades has been a model that's based on advertising. You go to sites, the sites place ads, um, hopefully some small percentage of users click on those ads and that generates some revenue for the advertising site that then pays the website that placed the ad for promoting whatever product the advertising site is promoting. So that's the current model. The current model is one that's based on advertisements. A different model would be every time you went to a web page, Let's say you browse a news article or you go to a blog post. That web page could be configured to ask your browser for a small payment, a uh, payment in exchange for accessing that content. Maybe you only have to pay the first time you go to a page and you see the content. If you come back within a period of time, like a week or a month, you don't pay again. Um, and if the payment was small enough, let's say it's like 10 cents or something like that, then your browser might not even need to prompt you. It just You might configure your browser to just automatically pay those charges. And then over the period of a month, you might rack up a bill of a few bucks or maybe 10 or $15, and that money is going directly to support the creation of content that you like. Now, in exchange for that, of course, users need something, and what we would hope to get out of this is an ad-free web. And we're already seeing, starting to see people sort of supporting uh, this model. So there's a new web browser out there, and I have not tried this yet. Um, it's called Brave. Um, and so what's interesting about Brave is that Brave, by default, blocks ads and certain types of web tracking that are used to enable ads. So unlike other browsers, so for example, Chrome and Firefox, um, despite the fact that they support plugins that will remove ads from the page, they can kind of say, well, you know, we're still supporting advertisers because a lot of users don't install those plugins. Brave, on the other hand, just the browser itself apparently strips out all of those ads and, and stops that web tracking. And so the d idea is to give you an ad-free internet. However, in exchange for that, the browser is built to enable this micropayment model. So it's possible um, that when you, um, so when you go to a particular page, uh, and, and again, this is something that's new, right? Um, so there is, they've apparently rolled out a Bitcoin-based micropayment uh, model. This is going to require pretty uh, significant changes in the architecture of the internet. So, you know, when I go to a website, how do I know how to pay the website? How do we negotiate, you know, how much the content costs? How do I make sure that users don't rack up bills that they're not used to? But, you know, this model isn't entirely that weird. I mean, this is how we pay for a lot of things. When you uh, buy cell phone coverage, for example, you pay for a certain amount of data through the month for a particular amount, and then it's metered if you go over that. And you can imagine browsers that have a similar strategy. You pay for a certain amount of micropayments per month, um, and then as you use the internet, you're sort of racking up these charges. The money goes directly to the content creators supporting their work, and you get access to things without having to see a bunch of intrusive ads. So I'm pretty excited about this model. I hope that this is the direction that we'll go in in the future. Um, one thing that they're also pointing out here that's actually pretty um, terrible about ads is that frequently ad networks and poorly designed ads can really slow down the page load time and can make the internet much more difficult to browse. So an internet without ads would not only be safer, not having to worry about people sort of tracking me and, and you know trying to develop uh, profiles me so that they can sell ads, but also faster because the sites would load more quickly. So this is a model for the future, micropayment based, money goes directly to creators, um, and we can get ads out of the picture.